Ah. I kind of weird to think that I filmed all that stuff like a couple weeks ago by this point. But yeah, as you've probably seen by title and thumbnail, I have moved to Japan. I'm only here for a few months, of course. So yeah, this is clickbait. But I think before I hit studio real quick, I should probably like quickly explain why I'm here and why the style of content's changed a little bit. Because true say, this is a music production channel and not a KC Nice that video. Of course, for the people who need it, I'll put like Subway Surfers gameplay somewhere. So I've seen a few of the comments who've already guessed it. But essentially, I'm still a university student. So I've been sent here on an internship as part of my master's astrophysics degree. And that's why the B emails are empty and that's why my upload schedule's in the bin. My initial plan for this trip was to obviously do my internship, but also like document and record a bunch of stuff and sort of archive my experience somewhere. But I don't know, like after a few days, I sort of just started living instead and just started enjoying myself. I think I've had more fun just sort of experiencing life here. You know, getting to know the environment, the culture and the people. Until like a month goes by and there's no upload because I didn't lock myself in the studio for like days on end. But I think after experiencing a bit more of the culture and the surroundings and stuff, I'm more than happy to go back into the studio and record some stuff. And I don't know, you may have seen me on a couple other channels. I think I've recorded a few things for other people. But I think it's about time that I focus back on my channel. I'll also be looking for a lot of feedback on this video because this is not usually the style that my videos go with. I think one really big goal of mine is to find out how music production and songwriting is different here than it is in the UK and the US. And I think a really good way to do that is to collaborate with some Japanese artists and Japanese producers. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll see how that goes. Like, as it is currently, I know almost nothing about like Japanese music production. So I've got a lot to learn, but I don't know. I'm not really used to yapping for this long. And I think I've run out of subway surface footage. So I think it might actually be time to go studio. really where I'm gonna go with this one. I'm thinking like a Don Tolliver type thing. Temperature is way too high right now for me to be planning this out. So I'm just gonna go with a random chord progression, see where we go from there. Very simple so far. To replace this with something so i'm just gonna open up omnisphere problem is with this plugin there's just so many presets i'm gonna spend the next 10 minutes trying to look for something i'm just gonna go with one with high rating you know sounds like some nick myra type beat nick mira nick i don't know how to pronounce the last part of that name okay i'm gonna look for another preset to layer on top of that yeah so the longer the name of the preset the better it is let's see what this sounds like Uh, okay, I like the, the little riffs. I don't like what's happening between them, but I can kind of just delete those. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Edison, bounce out this piano, probably tweak it a little bit, maybe add some portal to these as well eventually. <laughs> All right, well, it doesn't sound like much right now, but I think we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna clone Omnisphere again. I'm gonna look for another preset. I mean, honestly, the ARP and BPM folders are some of the only that I actually use. I remember a preset that sounds kind of like a guitar. I think it's like a Moroccan something. I'm gonna copy and paste that. Crazy. Okay, okay, okay. This was the track I was talking about. I heard this track in Akihabara in like a record store somewhere, and it sounds nice, but I'm more interested in the vocal hook, I guess. I don't know. Where is it? Yes, yeah, this, it's this part right here. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the vocal harmony, but it sounds so nice. Uh, so that's the only part I need. Actually, no, I'm gonna stem separate the whole thing. Okay, it's quite slow. 
Just like that there. Put that to stretch mode, pitch it up as well. I don't know, is this a stupid idea? This might be a stupid idea, but I'm just gonna keep going with it. I may need to chop this up a little bit though, I can't lie. What about with the piano? I'm gonna bring the arpeggiated piano in. This is gonna be a weird beat. Okay, I kinda want some vocal chops on this. I think I've got a pack for this. Okay, so this is one of my favorite packs that like, I've ever downloaded when I was like 17 or something. I'll big up Tom XL Music for this one. This one? So I can definitely use this one. I can use that one. There's a beat on YouTube that like I used to listen to all the time. I don't think he's added that one vocal chop that finishes it. Am I actually gonna have to download the beat from YouTube and stem separate it? You know what? Fine, I'll do it myself. He won't mind me doing this. It's okay. He knows I love this beat. <laughs> No, it's out of time. I'll leave a link in the description to the beat that I sample for this, but big up Tom XL, that's the code. Alright, how long I got left? I've got 20 minutes to lay some drums down on this, so. Close enough. I don't want all the vocals playing at the same time because it's gonna get really crowded if I do that. Alright, hopefully you can see what I'm thinking about for the final beat. like a percussion to go in the beginning maybe I just realized I have a screen I haven't been looking at this at all uh, wait hold up I want something else to go at the beginning For a kick, maybe, and the stomp. I'll move the stomp up a little bit as well. The stomp, what does that sound like? Okay. Alright, now with the vocals as well. Alright, one more thing actually, one thing I'm gonna add. It needs a pad, so I'm gonna add a pad as well. I'm just gonna delete some of the notes. I'm just gonna whack that in the background, I think. This is just a pad in Serum, by the way. I think you can probably get it on Splice, but... And then I want another re-space to add as like the intro. And 
I've got about five minutes till I have to leave, but I think that's just enough time for me to play the final beat. I haven't done too much. Like I mixed the pad, I mixed the vocals, added some gunshots and some drum fills. I also added the acapella from the reference track that I'm going for. Yeah, this is what the final beat sounds like. Okay. 